Good morning. How are we today? Thursday, the 9th of November. It's great to be here with you. Um, just let me get my cards out for this week. I want to really talk to you about them. They're fabulous this week. Really, I um, think they're going to give us all a little bit of a shove, a little bit of a push. Um, so let me just make sure I've got this live in front of me. I have to always have it on a phone as well. Sometimes when I'm working on the laptop, it doesn't let me see your comments. So if you're here with me live, let me know. Give me a wee hello in the comments. Um, let me know what you're up to, what today's activities are. What are you actually doing today? Because the theme in the cards today is all about actually showing up and taking action. So I'm properly loving these. Again, using the Lightseer's Tarot for our reading this week. Um, as you know, my favourite. But I really wanted to talk about stuff with you. You may have seen yesterday, um, or posted on my, my Facebook post late yesterday afternoon, early evening, and I had the most amazing day with Hannah Walker. Um, and I had a I had a VIP day with her yesterday. We spent six hours together. Um, and you know what? We went deep. We went properly deep um hey arlene nice to see you um so we went properly deep yesterday properly deep and i have to say like i do this for clients i hold space for clients i push them and i make them go deep and it never ceases to amaze me that um the trust that they have in me and it's really it's strange being on the other side of it it's strange for me as the as the mentor and the, the coach and the person who normally is the one holding space. It was strange for me yesterday to be in the receiving and to be in the the vessel of receiving that grace of being held in that space. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't realize about, you know, business mentors as such. I mean, if you go to Hannah's page, you'll see that Hannah's a, a exceptional sales mentor. So you might think when I say I've spent the day with Hannah Walker in it, you know, in a VIP day for sales, what you're failing to realize is that actually she's not just a business mentor. She's really an exceptional mentor, as are most of the people I work with. And I have to say, all of the people I work with, should I say the mentors in particular, are some of the best in the world. And she pushed me, she pushed me and held me as well while I explored those deep recesses, while I went down into we're both reading Throne of Glass, so yes, we may have spent some of the six hours talking about the Throne of Glass novels and where we're at, where we're at in them, and we may have deeply appreciated the, the glorious Mr. Summerholder who sits behind me here, but we still went deep. We still did the work, right? And we were using the analogies from the books about having to dive deep down and push down into our magic to go beneath the surface in order to like stretch up, because the higher you want to reach up the deeper you need to dive. And the weird thing about it, and I don't know why I say weird, you know me, I'm all about the magic and the synchronicities in life. Um, I had actually written in my morning pages yesterday before I'd even got on the call with Hannah, I have to really dig deep in order to reach up. And that came up in our call yesterday. It came up during the six hour VIP day I had with this fabulous human yesterday. And she pushed me, she helped me open up to things that had been deeply buried. Stuff that I maybe didn't want to necessarily face, because at one point, you know, I physically recoiled a few times and you can see it. Like I can see it when I watch the video back. I can see myself like contracting and recoiling from some of the the stuff because it was poking, it was poking little holes in those carefully constructed walls and in those little boxes where we put things. Let me know in the comments. Do you put things in little boxes? Do you hide? Have, have you got those things that are hiding beneath the surface that are well locked up in a little box, padlocked with plenty of books sitting on top of them and a few doors, you know. She, so Hannah kind of knew where to poke and she she realised that she can, this is the beauty of a great mentor and a great coach, they know, they know when to poke, you know, and she knew exactly where to poke. And it was the trust that we have with each other and that's what's really important when you're building that relationship with, um, with your mentors is that you have that trust, that you trust them to hold you safely. And I trust her implicitly which is why she was able to poke into those little dark corners because we all have blind spots all of us and 
the thing about it is, I would I would say to you, no matter who you're working with, and what I've realized is as I have started to put massive skin into the game and really started to invest heavily in my own development and my own personal um my personal development, my business development, and I've really, you know, had to start diving deep in there. What I have noticed is that the best mentors in the world also have mentors. Everybody has mentors because without them, you're just stabbing in the dark. You're just kind of puttering around there. Um, Arlene says, yeah, totally. I have a storage unit. Yeah, we all have those storage units, Arlene. We bury the stuff. Um, my question to you would be, um, what are you not allowing yourself? What are you not allowing yourself to feel and experience? Why is it buried? What's what's causing it? These are questions for you to ponder. Um, the thing about it is we don't know what we don't know and we all have those blind spots. So I, you know, this is the beauty of working one to one with someone because you, you develop that beautiful relationship in a closed private environment. It's just you and your mentor. It's just you and that person. Um, so you can go as deep as you need to in order to get through that storage unit or to get through the thing. You know, having someone who knows when to coach and to hold the space to let you find the answer for yourself or when to step into the mentorship role and actually give you the answers and then help you apply them to your own journey. You know, someone you can trust as you dive into your shadow because shadow work's painful and hard. It really is. You know, knowing that you're held safely and that you'll then be guided with proper action steps to take as you move through it, not just abandoned off on your own. And that's why it's so important to build that long term relationship with your mentors and the people you work with one to one. You know, because that then helps you build your confidence and then you can take action, you know. Um, and the thing about it is, like. I'm not frightened to say anymore that I am a bloody good mentor. I'm a bloody good business owner and a damn good Reiki teacher. I know those things. And it's time to step in and own it. And Hannah helped me with that yesterday. She helped me, you know, she was poking at me about that. Because the thing about it is I've invested heavily so that I can help you. And that's the whole point. And the cards this week are showing this. And this is the thing that I really wanted to talk about today because sometimes we have to we have to get uncomfortable sometimes we have to do the things that we're frightened of sometimes we have to dig deep down into our magic to pull it out to pull out the real raw power rather than just scratching the surface and doing the things just doing the little things and the other thing that um, i'm talking about is that sometimes we continually just think we're in motion and we think we're moving forward and we're doing the things when we're actually not doing anything at all. We're actually procrastinating. And that might look like, you know, you plan out, you, you do your vision board for how you want things to be. And then you, you sort of tweak the vision board and you keep working with the vision board and you're constantly in that visioning, visualizing stage, but you're not actually taking any action towards making it happen. It might be that you are... You know, I see this all the time with people, um, you know, reading about and understanding, you know, the the academic side of Reiki and meditation and spiritual intuitive development, but they don't actually commit to a daily practice of implementing it. It's like we can spend all the time in the world looking for the best way of doing something the best way to run our business the best way to set it up the best way of losing weight the best way of getting healthy the best way of developing our intuition whatever it might be but you know that's just that's motion it's not actually action it's not actually stepping into acting on it so you can read all the diet books and learn about the best and the most optimal way to lose weight but unless you actually eat those healthy meals and do the exercise, you're not actually doing anything. You can read about meditation and understand that it's the foundational point of all intuitive development and that you need to go quiet and go still and hear those scary thoughts and those little things that bubble up from under the surface. Otherwise, you'll not actually push past and get to where you need to be. You know, you can outline the chapters of your book, that book that's written inside you. You can start thinking about it and maybe outline the chapters. But until you actually sit down and write them, it's not happening. You can talk about your social media content and grow in your audience, but unless you're actually actively out there engaging and adding people and talking to people and putting yourself out there, then you're never going to do that. 
and the cards this week are really throwing this at us. They are coming in and they're like, bam, you've got to do this. You've got to do this. You know, because what have you done today to move the needle forward? And I think this is what's so important. I think this is what the cards are talking about, you know. So let's dive into them and let's have a wee look. So we've got Judgment has come up. Um, and again, the Light Sears Tarot deck, gorgeous set of cards. So we've got Judgment. An image in this card showing, you know, inside this woman is this beautiful, dancing, gorgeous soul that's aching to get out. And the judgment card's often misunderstood. You know, people sort of see this card sometimes as, you know, oh, I have to stand up, you know, and be counted and I have to make sure I'm working in integrity and I have to make sure that, you know, I've got, you know, I'm not judging other people. And yes, all of the above. But it's more than that. It's about when did you um, give yourself the grace of not judging yourself anymore? When did you open up your heart and deeply look inside and forgive yourself for all the things that maybe you are not that proud of, the things that maybe are hiding in the shadow that you're you're terribly frightened of and that you're not wanting to see? Are you... You know, when was the last time you did something without judgment, without worrying how other people were going to judge you? Do you worry about what others think? Do you, you know, we are pack animals at the end of the day and we do. This is a primal thing. Anybody who says they don't care what other people think are telling lies because it's an instinctual thing for us as human beings that we do deeply care because at a primal level, it was dangerous for us to be seen to be different. It was diff dangerous for us to go out on our own, to be ostracized from the pack and from the tribe. It led to certain death. So on a primal level, that's still in there. That judgment is still in there. That fear of being judged and being cast out is still in there. And this card's asking you to actually try and try and dig really bloody deep here and push past that. And this is some of the work that Hannah and I were doing yesterday. So I'm not surprised this card has come up today. I am not surprised at all to see this card. It positively jumped. These The three cards jumped out of the deck this morning. I barely had time to shuffle them and the three cards just laid themselves out. And I'm like, well, that's it. That's what we're talking about today. So what is the essence of your soul trying to say? This is the thing. You know, I'll be working on this in Soul Fire. The free event coming up from the 20th to the 22nd of November. So we'll be talking about this and about your soulful vision and your soulful strategy for your business and for your life so that you can move into 2024. Really excited to move ahead. 2024, I really do think, is going to be a game-changing year for a lot of us. It's going to be time when a lot of us do this, that we step into actually unleashing our soul into the world and say, I'm sorry, but this is actually who I am and this is what I stand for and this is what we're doing and I don't give a shit what you think. Frightening or empowering? Let me know. If you're watching If you're watching live, let me know. Does it terrify you to stand up and actually let people see who you really are? Like, really? And I don't just mean the face you put on publicly. I mean, really? All of you? Or does that really scare the life out of you? Is that like a storage unit box that you need to keep hidden well? And you're like, no. Because if that's the case, then maybe you need to do some one-to-one -one work with someone you trust maybe it's about diving deep because i have to say working with hannah yesterday cracked me open in ways that i haven't been like i haven't been there for a long time and yes i am a therapist and i know this stuff and i do this work for a living on a day-to-day -day basis and i help people with it all the time but even the therapist sometimes needs help in fact all the time and that's what i said earlier some of the best mentors in the world work with other mentors you don't get to be the best without working with someone you don't get to actually do the deep level work until you have someone help you see those blind spots until you someone helps point out the fact that this beautiful gorgeous soul maybe your inner artist is craving to get out maybe your inner dancer is craving to get out your inner writer have you a novel in there have you a book in there that's hiding if you something that you desperately want to bring and birth into the world, but you're hiding behind it, you're terrified, well, this judgment card is saying it's time to stop judging yourself so harshly. Open your heart and trust that the beautiful, abundant essence of your soul will shine forward. And by doing that, it will bring to fruition everything that you want. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of that card.
then we have another major arcana so as if one major arcana wasn't enough we've got two in our three card reading this week so if that is not a kick up the backside for us i don't know what is and we have got the full again this is the cusp of a brand new beginning this is time for you now it is time for you to take that leap of faith so when you step into your soul when you allow your beautiful soul essence to shine forth and to lead your way and you get out of your head and down into your heart and into your soul space and stop judging yourself so harshly and stop worrying what other people are going to think about you it gives you the freedom that childlike wonder and curiosity and freedom to then go I was going to take this leap of faith and have this new beginning because I'm not going to get where I want to be by staying stuck where I am. What's more frightening? To stay stuck and be in the same place this time next year, still writing the vision boards, still writing the to-do list, still saying I'm going to, going to, going to, going to, or actually moving the needle and this time next year being that little bit closer to your dream. <clears throat> What's more frightening? For me, being stuck is more frightening than actually putting myself out there and doing it. Because we came here to live our lives, to actually live and thrive, not just survive, not just to get up in the morning, go to work, pay bills, come home, rinse, repeat. We actually came here to do what our souls crave, to be of service to each other, to help each other grow, shine, to spread ripples of love and beauty into the world, to help. So the full card is here to say to you, look, it's your time, just go for it. You can see in the card, like the, the character in the card is like doing a trust fall backwards and trusting that the universe will catch her. Now, it's not about having no plans. I'm not saying that there's no place for vision boarding and mind mapping and planning and doing the courses and doing the thing. But if you're constantly doing the courses, now I see this, I see this in a few of the business communities I'm in because there is such a wealth of amazing content amazing content really inspiring people loads and loads and loads of things to be doing and getting involved with constant calls constant live things to be attending things to be you know joining in on to learn from but the danger there is that you're constantly the perpetual student that you're constantly just running after all these different things and you're not actually trusting yourself so the full cards about you trusting yourself to take on board what you need and again, this is where having a mentor is really good because you can work with all these other people. But if you have a mentor that you're working with one to one that can help you then implement what you're learning, that's gold. That is priceless. And that's what I've come to realize this year as I've started to work more deeply one to one with people. It's priceless. The leap of faith is here. So the full card's asking you take that leap of faith. You're on the cusp of this brand new beginning. Every journey begins with one step. You can't actually, you can't get to where you need to be unless you actually move. Does that make sense? Are you feeling stuck? Do you know that actually it's coming up? This is a cracking time of year to be making your plans for next year. Yes, we're all about living in the moment, but it's okay to cast an eye ahead and say, right, where do I want to go? And how? So yes, you can create the vision board and yes, you create the plan. And then your next question is, right, I have to take the action. I have to do the trustful. I have to actually take the step. And I have to not worry what people are going to say because I need to let my inner soul out. I need to shine. Because by shining, my light doesn't stop you shining yours. In fact, if anything, the more I shine, the more you can shine yours because then you can see someone else shining. And that in turn gives someone else permission to shine. And before you know it, all these beautiful lights are going on around the world. But like the base of this card, this gorgeous flower of life pattern that's on the bottom here. We are infinitely supported and abundantly blessed all the time, but we've just got to take the action. We've got to trust. We've got to take the steps. As I said earlier, I see so many people in these communities and they just sit and they make all these plans and they're constantly talking about what they're going to do and then they don't actually do it. They don't show up on, on their socials. They don't show up on their Facebook Live. They don't show up you know, in their email list, they don't take the step, they don't create something and then they procrastinate about it because it's easier to think you're still taking motion by saying, I'm just learning lots at the minute, I'm going to consolidate it all. But that's like procrastination 101. That's, I'm going to just continue to do this because I'm really scared of putting myself out there because if I put myself out there, then I might actually 
oh, it's not even that I might fail. I might be successful and then shit, I might have to actually stand up and be counted. And this was something Hannah poked at me yesterday. She says, what's the worst that happens if you do that? And I says, oh, I suppose um, the worst is that, you know, maybe nobody nobody goes for it. And she's like, no. She says, that's, a, that's actually just the best that can happen because then you don't have to do anything. She says, the worst that can happen is that somebody goes for it and then you have to put yourself at that table. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, true, true. What if you're successful? And the Nine of Cups comes in to say, you are successful and you're about to have everything you've ever wished for. By following these two steps first, by owning it and actually letting your soul shine and stopping judging yourself. And by actually taking the bloody leap of faith and doing the thing, taking the action, then all your dreams are about to come true. Nine of Cups here. Girl coming spinning out of this gorgeous um, treasure chest with a glow around her heart and her soul. That's her soul exploding in all these beautiful cups around her. Emotional fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment, happiness. I mean, why do most of us even go into the work that we do? The soulpreneurs out there, those of us who are soulful entrepreneurs, those of us who are soulful business owners, who are heart-led business owners, who are out there making a difference in the world, helping people, changing lives every single day. Why do we do it? Because we love to do it. We want to share that love, that light with other people. It's not just about making money. We all got to make money to live. Because that's not the core reason for doing it. The core reason for doing it is because it's in alignment with your soul. It's a thing you want to do. It lights your soul on fire. That's why I call the free event Soul Fire, because you want to light your soul on fire. So if you haven't signed up for that, get your name on it now. It's free, 20th to the 22nd of November. And we'll be talking about all this a bit more in depth. But like these cards are like, they're, this is assuring us that your dreams are coming true. You are on the verge of having everything you ever wanted. Does that scare you or does that really light you up? Because it can be terrifying. You're like, oh my goodness. What if all of a sudden I do get everything I ever wanted? Then what? What does life look like then? And something that Hannah said to me yesterday, she goes, when was the last time you actually really let yourself admit what you wanted? Not just what you needed. Deep question. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of those cards this week. As I said, very, very appropriate for personally what I'm going through right now and the, and the, the work I did yesterday on that VIP day and the work that I'm going to be continuing to do with my the mentors that I have in my life. They are amazing people. And I would urge you to consider, is it time that you did the same? Is it time that you actually invested in yourself to the point where you can work deeply with someone one-to-one? -one? Not just surface level stuff. Not just surface level stuff. Stop judging yourself. Okay? Forgive yourself wholly and compassionately. Open up your heart and your soul and let your beautiful essence and your light shine. And be who you came here to be. Right? Have the faith and the trust that you can do this and that you will be safely held by the universe. Okay, take action. Don't just keep making the plans and spinning your wheels, thinking you're moving forward when you're not really. And everything you've ever wished for is right on your doorstep. Is 2024 going to be the year that your life changes? Or are you still going to be sitting here this time next year going, hmm, didn't quite make it. I'll maybe go for 2025. I'm going to still be sitting at the end of 2025 going, oh, I didn't quite make it. I'm going to go for 2026. Because here's the secret. The time is now. There is never a right time, a perfect time. And if you're waiting for it, you'll be waiting forever. So dig deep. Find out what's stopping you. Um, and just really go for it. Let me see what the comments are saying. Ashleen says, thank you. Taking a leap of faith both scares and lights me up. Lovely cards they are. Um, Arlene says these cards make so much sense for me it's like they're in my head yeah I have to say the cards lately have been spot on there has been no messing about with them it's like straight in there and I love that and I think this is the thing 
um, as we start taking action, as we start actually moving things forward and moving the needle forward, then the universe starts to deliver more momentum and we start to actually, the synchronicities happen. As I said to you, I had written in my morning pages yesterday before I'd even got on the call with Hannah, like two hours before I jumped on the call, I was sitting at half eight yesterday morning in my morning routine in my meditation space and I'm writing my morning pages and in that, it's, I had written down, it's time to really dive deep and to dig deep, deep down so that I can pull up the magic and rise up higher. And that exact phrase came up then with Hannah and I that she said it to me in the meeting in the six hour VIP day we had yesterday. And I said to her, I said, you're not going to believe this, but I wrote that down. And I had pulled tarot cards yesterday for myself, as I do every morning. And they had said something very similar, and that's where that phrase had come from. So I want you to look around your life and look at where you're making the, where you're making those actual ripples, where you're actually taking motion, that you're not just treading water and going, yeah, I'm doing the thing, I'm doing the thing, but you're not going anywhere. Where are you actually swimming to? Where are you actually moving to? What has moved the needle? Okay, what has moved the needle? A couple of things that will easily help you take action. If you haven't already, register for so far. Um, that is the free event that's happening on the 20th to the 22nd of November. You'll find a link in my cover photo. If you've already registered for so far, awesome. Happy days. I've also opened up spots in my diary for one-to-one -one access to me for deep mentoring work. This is not surface level stuff. So if you're ready to put some skin in the game and actually make 2024 your best year yet, then DM me and I'll tell you how to make that happen. And keep your eyes peeled as well. If you're in Soul Food Circle, I'm about to add a VIP level called Soulpreneur Space, which is going to give you the business mentoring and helping a group environment um, as part of your membership if you are wanting to step up into the VIP section of that membership. So if you're in there, great. If you're not in Soul Food Circle and you want to be, send me a message and I will ping you through a link. I am opening the doors for those who are ready to make 2024 epic and who want in before I put the membership prices up next year. So if you want in, now is the time. It's not open to the public, so there's no point going to the website looking for it because it'll just be the waiting list. You want in, you need to message me, okay? So DM me, send me an email, get in touch with me, and I will send you a link that will let you get straight in and we can get you going um, very, very soon. Really excited as well about Soul Food Circle for the rest of this year because one of my other amazing mentors, Alex Card, is coming in to the circle. She's coming in on Monday the 20th of November and she is going to be sharing how to get more done in less time so you can take more time off. Epic productivity hacks. I cannot tell you how fabulous this woman is. Um, but you'll only get that if you're a member of Soul Food Circle. So if you want to get your butt in there, make sure that you, uh, you send me a wee message. So can't wait to see who's going to jump in, who's going to be working with me next year. As I say, these um, spots for one-to-one -one access are open at the moment. Um, I have three. Um, I had four. One's already gone. I have three left. So please make sure that you get in touch with me soon. And you can either pay a deposit to secure your spot with me from January, or you can just pay it in full and have it secured. It's entirely up to you. But DM me and we'll make it happen. In the meantime, go and take a look at these cards again. I want you to think about it. I want you to think about where you're holding yourself back, where you're judging yourself too harshly, where you're frightened to take that leap of faith. Okay. And I want you to think about what scares you more, being stuck or actually having everything you ever dreamed of. I'll leave that one with you. I'll speak to you again next week. Have a great weekend, folks. I'll speak to you soon.